What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we had kind of built our new driller machine, or drone, or whatever you want to call it, up here. Um, as well as managed to get a new location that's dubbed the power station over there. Uh, set up where it's a little bit of a higher peak, so we should get a better connection through the solar panels and such. So today, I have a couple of things planned, but predominantly what I'd like to do is migrate most of the important stuff. Maybe not everything, like I might not take all of the steel and all that kind of stuff. I may just take the refinery and assembler and conveyors and some other like uh, important things and move it up towards the power station area because we're going to start building a bit over there. The other thing that I'd like to do is kind of gut this corner around here and attach a... or maybe not attach, but basically use the driller to grab hold of this battery and then we're going to break all the blocks around it so that it becomes free-floating and carry that up to the power station and connect it with a merge block if... Ugh, big if, but if everything works correctly. Um, at the moment, I had the assembler making some more steel plates because I was out. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the, the basic premise. Um, how much do I need? For a merge block anyway. I wonder if I have what I need. Um, I've <clears throat> I can't say I've really worked too much with merge blocks before. There's one. So I need two. Uh, yeah, we'll just let that go. I was gonna say it's I have some of these things already so I really don't need to make them but it's spit in the bucket kind of thing. It's it's tiny stuff so that's fine. Um, let's see, we're losing daylight over here. This panel is down to nothing, so I think we're going to take it. Um, what do I have on me? I think I can manage it, because I have to take uh, some of the components over to the power station. I don't have enough, um, I don't have enough materials to make a... A solar panel over there. So for now we're just gonna take that one since it's easy to to get a hold of. Um, and let's grab merge blocks over here. Now I don't actually have to put one of these on here right this minute. I could actually just carry the stuff with me. Oh is everything done? Wow go you assembler! Look at you go. Alright, so I don't really need to grab these. Grab those. Uh... Oh, okay. I guess I can carry a ton of crap. Alright, that works. Um, piston. Oh! Ah! I was on the wrong toolbar. I hit four thinking I was going to grab my grinder. Um... Alright, so there's nothing on top of it, so I need to cut all the blocks around it. And the one bl and the one or two blocks under it, I'm not really sure. And I don't really know why. Um, the game itself recently had a big major patch that is um, that Im supposedly improved a lot of optimization stuff. Um, and it seems to have, for the most part, like overall, my frame rate, even being on a planet and stuff, was pretty solid. What is this doing out here? Okay, just a metal grid laying around. Works for me. Um, but yet I still seem to get some stutters and things. Like if you'll notice when I was grinding, you'll get a, I got a I get an audio stutter every once in a while. Um, let's put that back. And I'm not really sure what that's about or why it does that. Um, for the most part, it's fine. But when I start demolishing something. Right there, like right as it's done, you'll get this kind of sound, like it's it's stuttering a bit. It's weird. 
Um, how do I want to go about this? The other thing I have to think about is I have to have enough room that the driller can get in here. Okay, there's no lights there. I was thinking there was lights on those blocks, but there's not. So we can do this. That. I hope you guys are hearing it and it's not like, uh, we don't, we don't hear any audio thing. I'm wondering if it's just on my end. I don't think it is. But yeah, it just, it's weird that it, it just stutters ever so slightly and then it's fine afterwards. But it was kind of doing that before the update, so I'm not really thinking that was an update-specific issue. Okay, that I don't want to break. Um, so yeah, let me go about doing this, and I will be back in a minute. Alrighty, so I set up the merge block here just so that it's kind of like available. Um, and actually, I'm trying to figure out it may be, how are these three still getting power? Or these two? That's weird. Um, it may be a benefit to take this out. Thing. I'm starting to wonder if it's recording that's making that little twitching sound because when I was building without it, without recording. It didn't seem to be doing that. Uh, and I might even make some room here. Okay. So now the funny thing is I actually flew up there, at, up at the top there to get in the ship at, at one point and then I realized, oh yeah, I built it to be remote. Um, okay. So I haven't really done this very much before, so uh, bear with me. Remote access. I think this is it. I'm not sure. Um, because, okay, so the atmospheric thrusters and all these are white and assemblers are yellow, which means this is the primary attachment. So this has to be it, right? I'm thinking so. Um, the antenna's on. So should I just disable the connector or should I remote block first? We're going to remote block first, I think. So control. Um, I'm not actually up there, so I don't really have, <laughs> really have a way to see what's going on. Um, that's not good. What is this? View. So why didn't that work? You. Okay. All right. Let's try this a little differently. Because at the moment, I kind of need to see what I'm doing. Because for some reason, this is not working. Oh, it's because everything's off. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, let me tinker with some of the hotbar configurations and stuff so that this is a bit more easy to use. And uh, so give me just a second and I'll set this up so it's more flyable and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I basically configured everything to have an on-off kind of toggle. Um, and the cameras were all off, which was a problem, obviously. Uh, the gyroscope needs to be on as well. I didn't do the like group just power on, power off because I did that with the last ship and sometimes there's things you want on but not um, left on and other things you want off. And so a, a global just on off, eh, it didn't really end up working that well. Then I have kind of the recharge, switch lock, uh, auto, auto lock and switch lock for the landing gears over there on this one. And then this is your camera and driller type thing. So let's turn the atmosphere thrusters on. Uh, tab over to here. Woo! There we go. Okay, we have 29 minutes at this rate. So that's that, that's that. I can't tell. Okay, that's left and right. That's probably back up 
down. So the bad news is I really don't have a good view um, because the landing gears are kind of where the view is supposed to be. Uh, so I'm afraid, at least for this particular instance, I'm going to have to guide it in by view alone, which is not good. Um, but that's all I got. At least it moves really good, though. Okay, um, now which way did I want... I mean, I can kind of fly it this way, I just can't see my nose. I don't know where my nose is. Alright, so I got that. I don't know how much power I have left on this. So this is going to be risky. Um, actually... Two days at that rate. Okay. So now, if we take this out... Well... Um, that didn't seem to work for some reason. How much- does this still have power? Stored power? Okay. I wonder why that didn't work. There we go. Ah! Look at that! We got it! The only problem is, I don't think I'm gonna have enough power... Whoa! Whoa! Hey, what happened? Oh, I'm out of range. Well, that's not cool. All right. Uh, that's bad. That is bad. Hmm. I thought I could do it from. <laughs> Are we gonna have to leapfrog this? I think I might, because that that ship doesn't have much power. That's not good. It's not good at all. All right. Let's get up here. Oh, come on, really? Wait. Wait, what the? Why not? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh... Nope, that's the wrong way, that's the wrong way, okay. So it's back this way. It should be. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. Did it crash already? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Why Why do I have... Cannot establish a connection to the grid, but why not? My antenna said it was, like, it had, like, a 5,000 meter range or something. I don't understand. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so this is a really, really not good way to do this. Especially when you drive a ship into a mountain. Like I just did. Please tell me you're not dead. Are you dead? You don't look dead. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to what not to do. Because that's what this episode is turning into, apparently. I really don't know why it's losing the signal, though. Mainly because I built the antenna. Now, I know I'm not using a flight seat in the antenna, or on the ship grid or whatever, so that could be it, I guess, but... I didn't think that was a problem because I have an antenna both on this and the other ship. Dang, nabbit. This is annoying. I mean, we'll get there, but yeesh. Talk about irritating. 
Ah, I have to be like really close to this thing. I'm only a couple hundred meters away and it still won't find it. I mean, that's silly. Alright, so in the interest of not boring everyone to death, I may go ahead and do this kind of off camera and let it do, or and leapfrog our way there, because this is annoying, and I don't, the only other thing I could think of is, like I said, to build like a, some form of, um, hello? Some form of, like, a uh, flight seat or something on the base back down there so that you're actually using the base's antenna. Um, that's the only thing I can think of that I didn't do that would have probably fixed this, but I don't really know. So let me go ahead and do this, because this, eh, this is... This is a thing. Talk about doing it the hard way. Oh, and somebody brought up something I had not thought about, which was... How well will atmospheric thrusters actually work when we get up higher on the peak, like, where we're headed? And that's an answer that, or that's a question I really don't have the answer to. Um, but I guess we'll find out here in a minute. So, yeah, let me, uh, let me finagle with this, and I'll be back when we get there. Alrighty, so we're at the base. And the atmospheric thrusters seem to be working okay, even at this altitude or whatever. Um, let's find... okay, there's my side camera. Not entirely sure what camera will work best for this. Or maybe not one at all. And there we go. Alrighty. Now, for now, since I don't have a connector set up, uh, let's just back this up like that. And then we'll dock it there. And then let's go through and turn off. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Whoops. Uh, I want the batteries on because I want to actually turn off the other stuff. So don't turn the batteries off. Cameras, uh, antenna, connector we can turn off, gyro we can turn off. Everything else should be fine, I think. Okay. So we'll leave that docked there until we can figure out what to do with the conveyors. Now, fully depleted... So, oh, it's fully depleted because I think I have this one set to recharge, so it's probably pulling all of the, yeah, fully recharged in nine minutes. Wow, look at you go. Stored at 1.12, awesome. Yeah, we'll go ahead and let this drain. Um, I was told that uh, these batteries now, if you if you grind them down, you don't get the power cells back. You get scrap. But I'm wondering if if that's only when they have power or if it's just all the time now. So we're going to let it drain all the way so that it's basically like, you know, all the power goes into that one. And we're already seeing the better effects of having this uh, in this area. So what I think I'm going to do is run back back and maybe just take down my other solar panels because I really don't have a use for them down there at this particular point because all I got to do is bring the the materials back up here and connect everything. So let me take a run down there and grab some stuff and then we'll come back up here and start actually building it. Alrighty, so good news and bad news. The good news is uh, everything seems to be going along swimmingly 
with the new solar array and such. I brought two of my panels worth of materials with me. However, we have two somewhat bad news situations. Um, and that would be that, as you can see, my power on my welder is getting very low. And the med bay no longer has power back at the base. Neither does apparently the hydrogen tank, which, uh, I, who knew, apparently requires power in order to provide the bottles with hydrogen. So that's kind of, uh, yeah, that's interesting. I uh, didn't know that. Um, so what I think I might do... I don't want to go too crazy, like, um decorative type thing like oh let's put this room over here at the moment I kind of just need some stuff to function um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I can't do it without interior plates okay well I was going to put down a med bay and then go get what I needed but I can't do it without interior plates so that's fun. So I guess my only option really is to go back down, get the med bay, come back up here and build it, hopefully before I run out of power. Uh, the other problem is going to be hydrogen. So, um, hmm. I'm wondering if my, my, yeah, I don't know. Um, how much do I have on this bottle? 84%. That probably can make one or two trips. So I'm thinking I'll go back and dump everything I have except for my hydrogen bottles. Um, and try and bring the med bay and possibly the moisture evaporator and oxygen generator up here. Because even if I have to tear down the hydrogen tank and lose what I have at least that would get me what I need back up Eh, I don't know i um, gonna head back down that way though because I need to at least get the med bay going if nothing else even if I have to make other trips for other things just because that's the only way for me to get um, electricity to basically power my tools so now I don't know I, I don't have a grinder on my driller drone, but I don't know... I think if I used the drill it would just destroy stuff, and I'd, I think I'd have to put a grinder on there um, to, to grind everything down, but even still I don't have a good means to go back and forth at this point. Um, because everything... I can only go like a couple hundred meters away before I lose the signal, so... I really think... I'm not 100% sure, but I really think since I have the antenna... Or I had, it's not powered, but I had the antenna down here... I'm really thinking... That if I had a flight seat down here and the antenna was still powered, I think I could have... Um, I think I could have managed. So yeah, let me collect some stuff and get the med bay up and running. Oops. And then we'll go from there. Seven more power units. I don't know what that... I, I mean, I guess... Percent? Seven percent. That's all I had left on that power unit. Whew. Okay, so here is kind of what we were talking about before that um that's where the sun is at this point so it's it is kind of on this arc where this part this portion right here i don't know how much sunlight i'll be getting though that looks like it's almost below the horizon and we're still getting three on all of those now i don't know what would happen if we were to extend these uh, first of all, fully recharged in seven hours. Currently stored is 1.7 watts or megawatts. So that's good. Um, actually, hold on. Let's leave that on recharge and turn this one completely off. Because if this isn't on recharge, then it may try and pull. Um, and we'll set it to discharge only. Just so that it doesn't accidentally pull in from that battery or something. 
that shouldn't actually make it go anywhere, I don't think. Uh, piston. Let's... Let's just reverse it and see what happens. I don't know if raising it up... Oh, that one got... Well, no, that one was already on three. These are on two. I don't know if making it go any higher will actually do anything unless I turn the angle, which I could do. Okay, it doesn't seem to be doing much. Um, we're at zero, that's 315, that's 45. Okay, so let's see. If I were to turn... Where's the rotor? Oh, advanced rotor. Um... Let's see, we'll turn the braking all the way up. Let's see if we can set its current limit. So it's lower limit. Uh, that would make it turn counterclockwise. So let's raise this a little bit. And then we'll set Let's set the upper limit to 360, and we'll set the lower limit to zero, right? Or negative 360? I'm a little confused on how that... No, I guess that would be two full circles, so let's just do zero for now. Um, actually, let's set the upper for 45 at the moment, and then put this at 0.5. Let's see where sh where it ends up. Yep, it's turned the way I wanted it to. Perfect. And and it stops. And then we'll kill that. Sweet. And now, oh, we're at four. Awesome. So even at that distance, we're still getting four bars of power. That's perfect. Now let's go ahead and recharge ourselves. Because, <laughs> uh... Run a little, run a little close to empty here. Um, the only thing is, at this point, hydrogen is going to be a problem. Right now, I mean, not not in total, but right now, uh, because I have about sixty-five percent in the tank. Uh, battery that's set to discharge. Okay, four hours. We can set that to recharge only at this point. What is the... Okay, current output... What does it go to? Six? Eh, we'll just leave it. No worries. Um, so yeah, I have 10% left on this hydrogen bottle, and I have 65 in the tank, which means I can probably easily make it to the base. The problem is, I don't know that I can make it back up here. Um... So, yeah, that's going to probably be a smidge of an issue. Because there's no way, um, I don't have any source of power, really. I don't have any more uranium, or else I could say I could rebuild the reactor down there. Um, but yeah, I don't have any uranium to power it. So... I'm not really sure. I mean, like I said, I can get down there, no problem. Um, but I don't know how to get back up here at that point then. So, yeah. Um, and especially, like, I can use the grinder and stuff, that just uses power. That doesn't use my jetpack. I mean, okay, 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 let me clarify, yes. I could just run my way back up here. That is, yes, I, I yeah, mm -hmm, I could do that. It's really a question of do I really want to do that, you know, um, or is there some other way? So, without, I didn't know, okay, and, and this isn't entirely an oversight on my part. Some people would say, well, why didn't you check your fuel and stuff before you left? I honestly did not know at the time that hydrogen tanks required power in order to distribute hydrogen. That's what messed me up. 
because I knew that it had stuff in it, so I figured I would just top myself off on, on my way back. And when I went to do it after taking the battery out, um, the tank was red, and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And when I put the bottle in, nothing happened, and I realized that you need power, whether, no, you know, no matter how small it's supposed to be, but you need some form of power in order to do that. So, yeah, that's kind of a my bad, but I also don't really feel too bad because it wasn't something I expected. Um, I kind of figured it was more like a little valve thing. You know, you just shove the bottle up in the little nozzle and it just, you know. So, yeah, I was relying on pressure and it needs power, apparently. Um, so, yeah, at this point, we are, are we're basically functional. We have power. We actually have a much better power system. Um, and we have a, uh, we have a medical bay room, so if we died or something, we could respawn. Actually, do I have the materials to make another hydrogen? I don't have enough, but I do have said materials, I think. Like, I have steel plates and everything. Let's place you there. So not enough steel plates, or large tubes, or small tubes, or steel plates. <laughs> okay. Um, that'll be kind of our new tank for now. Oh! No, it will not. That is way too close to that piston. I'm not happy about that at all. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, I think we're going to wrap things up here, stranded, in this episode, kind of, sort of. I mean, like I said, technically speaking, yes, I could run all the way down there, get stuff, fly back, whatever. In theory, yes, I could totally do that. Um, it's really a question of, do I want to? And the answer is no, but I don't think I will have an option, because I have 57 now and only 10% on this bottle. So, unless I come up with some ingenious way to power the ship, or power the thing down there, uh, that doesn't involve using the driller drone and the battery uh, merge block there, and before anybody asks why I won't do that, uh, I don't have enough hydrogen in my jetpack to leapfrog it back, so it's kind of stranded here too. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're doing, we're doing good. Go, go team. Uh, but yeah, on that note, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.